Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And today we will talk about what are the factors that influence the column equilibration, especially in the reverse phase liquid chromatography. Column equilibration is required before you start the analysis or in case if you received a new column. We will talk about why column equilibration is required. The first important point is to replace the column storage solvent. In case if the column is new, the column may present the shipping solvent and that solvent has to be replaced. Or even if the column is old, before you uh, store the column, you actually replace the mobile phase with the storage solvent, isn't it? And that storage solvent has to be replaced by the mobile phase. For that one reason, the column equilibration is required. Second important reason is to establish equilibrium between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. Your mobile phase is also partitioning with the stationary phase and that equilibrium has to be achieved. So to achieve that equilibration, the column equilibration with the mobile phase is important. The third point is very interesting and important to wait the stationary phase to achieve partition of analyte. In case of reverse phase liquid chromatography, our column is naturally a hydrophobic or non-polar and in case if our mobile phase doesn't wait the hydrophobic stationary phase or the column, our analyte cannot reach to the active sites present onto the bonded stationary phase like C8 or C18. So this entire bonded phase has to be properly wet and this is possible by proper column equilibration with the mobile phase. To generate the reliable result at the end, maybe the consistent retention time, consistent response, resolution, proper baseline this all depends on to the proper column equilibration so to generate the reliable result is also the reason why the column equilibration is required now what is the impact of improper column equilibration what happens if the column is not properly equilibrated the baseline disturbance is the result of improper column equilibration Retention time variation is also the result of improper column uh, equilibration. Peak shape distortion can also take place in case if the column is not properly equilibrated. Your resolution may be poor because of improper column equilibration. Response also can get varied because of the improper column equilibration. And in addition to all these points, your pressure also gets fluctuated because of the improper column equilibration. The ghost peaks, if the column is not properly equilibrated, you may end up getting the ghost peak or spike into the chromatographic run. Let us now understand which factors really influence the column equilibration process. You must have heard that at least 10 to 20 column volume is required for the proper column equilibration. So, what are the factors which really influence the column equilibration? The first factor is the nature of a stationary phase. The stationary phases with bulky groups like phenyl may need a longer column equilibration because these bulky groups will resist the passage of your mobile phase throughout the stationary phase. And because of that, you are going to take the longer equilibration time. Surface area, the faster column equilibration is favored for a stationary phase that have a lower surface area. Now the lower surface area may not be good for your selectivity, resolution or retention, but it is very much favored for the faster column equilibration. Pore size, the faster column equilibration is favored for a stationary phases that have a wider pore size. Wider pore size will make the low surface area, the column with the lower surface area, isn't it? Just compare the pore size of 70 angstrom versus of let us say 400 angstrom unit. 
So the column with the pore size of 400 angstrom unit is going to have the low surface area and hence is going to have the lower column equilibration time. So greater is the pore size or wider is the pore size, lower is going to be the column equilibration time. Okay, so what is the role of mobile phase composition? The mobile phase with a high amount of buffer and ion pair reagent needs more time for column equilibration because this requires the more amount for the equilibrium to be established between the stationary phase and the mobile phase because of the buffer concentration and especially if there is a presence of ion pair reagent your ion pair reagent has to also get equilibrated onto the stationary phase and that may take a longer time so one has to consider the additional column equilibration time, especially in case of ion pairing reagent methods. Amount of aqueous phase present into the mobile phase, obviously. So the column equilibration can be longer for a mobile phase with a high amount of aqueous phase. We are talking about reverse phase liquid chromatography where our column is hydrophobic in the nature. So if the mobile phase contain more amount of uh, aqueous phase, which is a polar in the nature, the de-weighting of the stationary phase can take place. The stationary phase actually repels the water out of its pore. And if the more is the amount of water, more will be the repulsion and hence less will be the weighting process. And to weight the entire stationary phase, you may have to equilibrate the column for longer time. So this is the drawback of high aqueous uh, mobile phase containing, uh, I mean high aqueous uh, mobile phases. The temperature of the column, higher column temperature speed up the column equilibration due to increased mobility of mobile phase as the viscosity of the mobile phase gets reduced. So in case if you want to achieve the higher column equilibration, increase the column temperature above the ambient temperature maybe 30 or 40 degrees Celsius and you will see the reduction in the column equilibration time. Buffer concentration throughout the gradient run. Now this is about uh, the equilibration of your uh, column throughout the gradient run. So in gradient illusion, maintaining the buffer concentration throughout the entire run by inclusion of the buffer or salt in both the mobile phase reservoirs helps in faster column equilibration between the runs. You will not find the fluctuations in the baseline. Your baseline will be more stable in case if you add the buffer in the both the reservoirs of your gradient mobile phases. Very important note, in case if you have the buffers as a part of your mobile phase, don't begin your column equilibration by using exact mobile phase rather than just use the same proportionate of water and organic solvent for some amount of time and then followed by the exact mobile phase actually this process is going to reduce your column equilibration time thank you so much